up you guys so we're right here at um at our church and we're gonna be setting up it's tent revival week coming up and so super excited a bunch of people coming out you know we're expecting to see a bunch of people giving their lives to god and um we're just excited so you guys be blessed <laughs> you ready brother or what? you ready to get I'm sweaty ready. yeah i'm ready to see the holy spirit show up you know? right, come, come on, on. Yeah. jesus name all right we're showing up to the church where it goes down tent revival this week it's going up in jesus name Amen. It's gonna be here, up, Pastor Brian. What's going down here today? Man, putting this tent up, man. Been talking about it for a while. Putting it up today, man. This is the day, big day, tent revival. Starts Tuesday night, goes all the way through Sunday. So don't miss out, man. Tuesday through Saturday, 6:30 p.m. Next Sunday, the 17th at 10 and 5. It's Where at? Amazing. Breakthrough Church. Come on. Tony Business Parkway. Amazing guys coming. Matt Cruz, Tracy Armstrong, Daniel Adams, Brian Trejo. It's going to be amazing. Don't miss out. Every night it's going to be powerful. Got food trucks, all kinds of fun stuff happening. Don't miss out at all. Get here for Let's all of go. it. Let's go. Amen. It's going to be fun. Check it out. This is how it looks right now, you guys. And then it's going to be something crazy here. For Jesus. I am too hard. I've done that many times. What's going on today, you guys? Hey, uh, tent revival. Yes, exactly. You guys excited to get some get sweaty? Yes. A little bit. I'm excited to get some food too because I'm kind of hungry. Too. Amen. You and me both. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Got the basketball court over here. Hey. The young brothers. Brother, it's going down. Man, you were viral this week. It's gonna be fire. You gonna be performing or what? So Tuesday night, Sunday night with my brother Isaiah from Florida from uh, Supernatural Ministries, man. Come on now. It's be good, man. Tune in. Tune in. Tune in. Oh, now that, that was a shot. Uh, getting the tent set up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a great moment in history. Come on. Is that a perfect line? Recording this great moment in history. Come on. Alright, welcome back everybody. It's so hot outside, so we um, brought it into here inside the main sanctuary. Um, a family from Oregon came down right now, and we're going to pray for them, see what's going to happen. I don't know if deliverance will take place, but they feel it's spiritual. They did a two-hour drive from Oregon, so that's when you can tell they're desperate and hungry for the move of God. So, just tune in. We're going to see what happens in Jesus' name. Like 270,000 views on that puppy. That thing got some traction. Yeah, right. A lot of people right, are that. Right after uh, the tour, I got out of the you guys. Um, I was I was gonna go back into the hospital because I felt the pain, and in, in my insides, they felt like they were. It was in a knot, like it was tied. And then, so my mom's like, let's just get first. And so we were on my on my way to my my home to get my pain meds. And then she was on the phone and then the um, lady start praying. And as she began to pray and then we all came into agreement. And then my, just, my insides felt like they were just going in order. And then the pain was not there. And I told my mom, I said, it doesn't look like I have to go upstairs to get my medicine. Yeah. Come on. Wow. Wow. So I'm sure you've told it already a handful of times, especially today, that just like, not your whole life story, not your whole testimony, but as of like lately, what is, what drives you here today and what's been going on? What are you believing for? What are you having faith for? What do you want to see happen with you, your family, your body? What is it? Um, I, I want to see a miracle happen in my life that I see miracles happen there in the ministry that I carry for the rest of all. I believe in miracles that when when I go out there and people be miracle, but the only struggle is that 
I don't have that for myself. Mm -hmm. and I struggle. I understand what that's like. Yeah. Okay. Have faith to see some, some, someone dead raised but not enough faith to see God heal your headache when you got a bad migraine sometimes. Yeah, All right. Now I just want the I just want the healing of not having to go through that. Okay. Amen. So we're praying for kidneys, and they're saying kidney failure. Anything else? Um, diabetes. Diabetes. Pancreas. Pancreas. Colon. Colon. And liver. Liver. Amen. Another reason, can you explain to them why you guys had to drive over here so far? One reach now. For really where we're from, we're not liked. That's one thing we do. Stand on the right Come on. Amen. It's what we read. It's what we teach. Um, I just wanted to say something to it. I didn't see the story. I didn't watch it. I didn't know it. But I see. It's just talking to her a little bit. I see Native Americans walking in this church. refining and for two you're going to believe and trust that God's going to pull you through any and every situation no weapon that is formed up against you guys will be able to prosper and so you guys are here and God is going to set you free no longer will you guys feel like you can't get one foot ahead no longer will you feel like that you don't have a church family God is calling you out and what you guys have been through it's only making you stronger and you Michelle the reason why you're suffering and why you have in your body is because when you lay hands on people they're going to be killed mm -hmm. most of the time when we're called into a certain calling we suffer those things and the reason why your body has suffered that is because you were meant to be a healer and so when you lay hands your body is being attacked with these sicknesses but it's not because of anything that you're doing wrong it is because that is the calling that is on your life mm -hmm. and God is ne he'll never leave you and he'll never forsake you mm -hmm. and so we're believing that that you guys are going to see a breakthrough you guys are going to see a breakthrough you guys came to breakthrough church and your breakthrough is here now in Jesus name right mm -hmm. 
mention all of them right now. I, I come against every evil spirit that's trying to attack and cause discouragement. Every evil that's trying to attack and cause discouragement. I come against you right now. I declare to you that all of them are going to be lifted off of the shoulders. So right now I speak into your body. Your body is filled by the strikes that you just took on his back. Come on, there's no sickness that is greater than the strikes that you took. There is no infirmity that is greater than the strength that you took on his back. It was for you. So spirit of fear that has been tormenting this family, I command you to be loosed now. In Jesus' name, fear of death, I command you to go now. Right now, spirit of death, I command you to be lifted. In the name of Jesus, you are going to live. You're not going to die. You are going to live. Come on, the enemy is not going to take you down. God is not done with you. It's not like you're not. 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 going up in Jesus name it's going up wow deliverance going on inside this is where it's going to go down it's absolutely crazy. Absolutely nuts. 
Yeah, Pastor Brian in there. Stay tuned to the end. <laughs> Kingdom Fellowship. <laughs> Jeez. This is nuts, you guys. My camera don't do it no justice, but this is big. Thank you, Jesus. Hey everybody, the tent is up. The camera don't give it much justice, but you saw the process right here at Breakthrough Church. It's going to go up from here, man. It's going to go down. But stay tuned. Like, subscribe. This whole week is going to be a blast. I'm going to try to edit it and get it up as fast as I can. But share it. In Jesus' name. Looks like it's up. What's up, you guys? So, you guys, it's super hot out here. And we had this family come down. So amazing, you guys. So precious. And they were just so broken. And they were very discouraged. And they came from Oregon, which is like three hours from where we're at. That's desperate, right? A lot of us Christians like to complain if church is 20 minutes away, right? Because we don't want to waste gas. But see, they didn't care about gas. They didn't care about anything else. They needed to get in the presence of God. And I'm telling you, the presence of God fell. And they got deliverance and healing. And so it was so powerful, you guys. And this is what we live for. We love it. And so, Jesus' name. Amen. The contract that was made. I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. You lying spirit, let him go. He is not going to die. You are not going to die in the name of Jesus. Spirit of death, get out. Spirit of death, get out. Spirit of death, get out. Now. Out. 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 And he's spirit of suicide. Out. Out. Let him go. 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 Let him go.